Okay, so in this video we're going to start talking about finding the missing angle in a right angle triangle. Now this is typically something like a grade B question uh, for GCSE and if you visit mathsrap.co.uk there's quite a few examples of the kind of applications for trigonometry which is the process that we're going to use. Um, some people call it Sokatoa so I'm just going to write that up on the board as so ka toa Okay, now the reason I've done it like that is because it reminds me that um, when we're talking about this particular relationship, we're talking about uh, opposite over hypotenuse or adjacent over hypotenuse or opposite over adjacent. Okay, so this relates to the relationship with uh, different sides of, and angles of right angle triangles. So what I'm going to do is, first I'm just going to put a right angle triangle up on the board, um, and then we'll look at the way in which we can label the right angle triangle so we can look at the different relationships. Okay, so um, the example I'm going to use is something like that. Okay, now this is a, a right angle triangle, and the particular exam question that we've got will ask us to find out the angle here, which they've called x degrees. And the information that they've given to us is that the bottom line across here is 3.9 centimetres, and the line across the top here, the longest line of the triangle, is actually 4.7. So I'm just going to put that up there, 4.7 centimetres. Okay, so um, when you're dealing with this kind of question, uh, you really need to start firstly by labelling the triangle correctly. Okay, so the first thing is, is that the longest length of any right angle triangle um, is called the hypotenuse. So what I'm going to do is put just height there. Um, and hopefully you can see that okay onto the video. If you have a look at the post then there is a, a proper drawing of this so you can have a better look at it. Okay, um, so hypotenuse is there which is the 4.7 centimetres longest side of any right angle triangle. Uh, the other thing to look at is that we are being asked to find out the value of x degrees. Now opposite x degrees is this side here. So we're going to call that the opposite. It is worthwhile pointing out that if we were looking at a different type of question, or a question where they were asking us to find out the... Um, the, the value of this angle at the very top here, then this 3.9 centimetres at the bottom would be the opposite. So you've got to be a little bit careful because they are interchangeable. Okay, so we have this bit at the moment is the opposite to the angle that we're looking to calculate. The last thing that we need to uh, label is that the line along the bottom here is adjacent to the angle. So I'm going to call that ADJ, adjacent to the angle. Okay, so as with um, all Sokotoa type questions, if you label them correctly, then really it's just a case of having a look at the formula and putting the correct numbers in place and then using the calculator to calculate your final answer. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I've got adjacent here and I've got a value. I've got a value of hypotenuse and I haven't got a value of opposite. So what I do is I look along my Sokotoa line and I look for those values that I have. Alright, so I know I've got adjacent and now I've got hypotenuse. So if I look along here, this is sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Well I've got hypotenuse but I haven't got opposite. Um, if I look at here, which is cosine, I've got the adjacent, which is this one here, and I've got the hypotenuse value, which is this one here. So that's excellent. That means then that I can use the cosine 
of angle X in order to, uh, to calculate this angle. Okay, so I'm going to write it out as cosine equals adjacent over um, hypotenuse. I hope I've spelt this. I hope I've spelt this correctly. But if I haven't, please uh, forgive me. It's quite difficult on the video, but I hope I have. It's hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. I think that's right. Okay, if it's not, then um, I'll have to shoot the video all over again. <laughs> okay, um, so cosine equals adjacent of hypotenuse. Right, so what I've got here is there's x degrees, so I've got the cosine of x degrees equals the adjacent, which is 3.9, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 4.7. Okay, so that will allow me then to find out the value of the cosine of the um, x degrees. Okay, this is where it gets just a little bit tricky and something that you need to be aware of is that we need to use what's called the inverse trigonometric ratio. Um, <laughs> what that means is on your calculator it's actually cosine to the power of minus one. Um, there is a, a reason behind all of this. Again, if you have a look at this site, then there is a posting that deals with this. Um, but for the purposes of this particular video, what we need to do is put this information into a calculator in a slightly different way. And the way that we do that is we calculate um, cosine to the power of minus 1 and then brackets 3.9 divided by 4.7. Okay, now if we did that and push that into the calculator, then that will give us the value of x degrees. And actually, the value of x degrees that I have, I'm just referring to my notes, will be um, 33.923112. So that's the angle of x and I think for the purposes of most uh, questions at this sort of level, they will ask you to do it to one decimal place. So to one decimal place, the value of x, x degrees, will equal 33.9 degrees. Okay. And that will be the answer to this particular question. Uh, I hope that's been okay for you. Uh, please do have a look at the... Uh, the Matter App site or have a look at the YouTube channel. There are there is a playlist on trigonometric ratios um, and you'll be able to have a look at those. And you'll be able to download some a worksheet from matterapp.co.uk to have a go at some of these questions for yourself. Uh, please do post, pin, tweet uh, this particular video. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel, I think, by pressing the button at the top there. Um, or you can add a comment below and I will get back to you and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.